Today I'm going to show you how we carry two kayaks in our mid-size truck. Uh, the bed on this truck is 5 feet. It's a 2019 uh, Ford Ranger. It's the, I think it's the crew cab, the one with the, the larger uh, back area for passengers. But yeah, the bed, bed is very short and we get around that by using this uh, bed extender. Uh, you can get these around, I think I got some for like 60 bucks, but you can find them under $100 uh, pretty easily. I'll put some links to uh, some you could purchase in the description. Uh, and we get by with just that. So I'm going to show you how we have this set up, how I load them, and uh, kind of go over the whole process. So I think this is a really great way to go if you're trying to save money on um, uh, a way to haul your kayaks around, especially if you have a short bed. So we'll get into that now. Sorry, it's a bit awkward holding the camera like this, but here's the bed extender. You can kind of see it down here. It just sits here most of the year uh, until we need it for kayaking. Uh, I also use it if I'm carrying something really long in my bed because uh, that's what it's made for. And also, sitting on top of this backpack, I'm going to be doing a video on this Hill People Gear backpack soon. Uh, just a couple straps. These are nothing special. You can use anything, uh, practically. Uh, I think these are like 10 bucks for a pack of four on uh, Amazon. So, that's all you need. A pack of straps, the bed extender. I'll get out there and show you how we're going to load this up. Here are the kayaks. They're just two kayaks from uh, Costco. Nothing special. So usually Sylvia helps me uh, load the kayaks, but for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to show that it can be done by uh, just one person. Uh, one of the downsides of a lot of kayak racks is it'll be typically either above the cab or above the bed. So it's kind of hard to lift the kayaks up that high. Uh, it's doable, especially if you have like uh, good upper body strength, but uh, with this setup, you don't have to lift it as high. Uh, and that was a, a benefit for me. Uh, so the, uh, the one I linked in the description, the bed extender, uh, it is a little bit more adjustable. They have cheaper ones at Harbor Freight, for example, that are about um, $65. Uh, but the downside with those is they don't have these little arms that you see on the, uh, in the video. They have the little right angles. And I kind of prefer this setup because it prevents the kayaks from si uh, sliding off to the side. So um, that's why I went with this one. It's a little bit more expensive. It's about $80. Um, depending on the time of year and uh, just general uh, price uh, fluctuation. But that's why I went with this setup. If you have more narrow kayaks, you can get around this by just putting them right next to each other. Uh, we kind of have more, I guess, cheaper beginner ca uh, kayaks. So they're pretty wide. Uh, so we do have to uh, put one of them kind of uh, diagonal and lay it a little bit on top of uh, the other. So you'll see here, um, I push it in and then I just lift it up so that it um, one side sits on top of the other kayak. And once you get them roughly into position, uh, like I mentioned before, this adjustable um, bed extender, you can kind of uh, pull those sidebars in uh, just to keep the kayaks from going side to side. So once I get those in and then fully loaded, I, uh, I kind of pull that in. Uh, majority of the time, I only use uh, two straps. I run one through the uh, hitch receiver and over the top of the kayaks, and then I, I get that kind of snug. And then I move on to using some of the tie down points in the bed, and I run one more strap over the top of the kayaks. Uh, it's not rocket science. Uh, sometimes I'll put an additional strap around the end of the um, bed extender if we're going on the freeway or kind of rough roads or anything like that. But um, that's pretty much the whole setup. So this is. This is it. So this is why I prefer this setup. It's pretty simple. Um, it's worked out great for us. And uh, hopefully it'll work out great for you too if you end up going this route. So um, if you have any questions or anything, leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see everyone out there on the lake, hopefully in a couple of days.